Hi everybody, Michael Atias here with Cater Zen. I want to share some great things that we've just added onto our online ordering interface. During this COVID-19 crisis we're all going through and we're all having to pivot, we're listening to you and we're making changes to our online ordering interface to help you um, make your pivots and, and make money during these challenging times. I want to walk you through a couple of things. First thing, that we have done is we've built a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, or HTML editor into um, different menus. And you can do one for categories and you can do one for individual men menu items. Now, I'm not an HTML coder and I'm not really handy when it comes to graphics, but you can see you can enter pictures, different text, so you can really customize things any way you want. On a menu item, let's say you're doing nutritional facts, you can insert that graphic there, um, and you can almost use this as a, as a microsite, quite frankly, um, if, you, if you want to put information. A little hack is create a menu that's a category that is that has no menu item that just shows um, uh, the HTML coding that you did. The way that works in the back end is when you go to your menu, we added the ability to add a description, and then you can put in whatever HTML you want. This is not gorgeous. I'm not a designer, but you get you get the point about that. Same thing with categories. We're going to come in here and we've got custom cakes. And you can do the HTML coding for that. And then menu items. So not only can you add an item, but you can do HTML coding for the item. So that's one of the first things. Now you'll see all this cake stuff on my screen and that's because we have built in for those of you that also offer bakery services in your business we've built in the ability to take cake orders and there's two things that we've added one the ability to upload a photo let's pick this so some of you might have the ability to um, put an image on a cake and then you can put we now have this field called message on cake. And then I created an option called icing color or message color. And I'm going to put it in green. And then I'm going to add that to my cart. Um, we've added the ability to edit quantities in the cart as well. So that's really cool. And then I want to just show you what, what happens. Enter some dummy information. So I come in here and we'll make this for pickup. And the picture actually ends up on the order form. The customer gets a copy of the picture. The message ends up on here as well as on the ticket and the file is attached to the ticket. So that's that's pretty cool. We've also made it. On guest checkout, if somebody enters misinformation, they can fix it at checkout. How many times have you, I know I've entered my email and forgot the M at the end and then I've had to go change it. So that's a pretty cool feature. The next thing that we've done um, that I love is the ability to do add dietary restrictions. So, um, when you hover over the circles, the colored circles with the letters, this one contains eggs, contains dairy. And if you're looking for a way um, to do that, you go to the item and you scroll down and all the dietary restrictions are right here. So whatever you click will show up. That doesn't apply to options because some of our clients have five, six options for a menu item. And so what you want to do is, um, in parentheses, you can put um, 
the you can you can edit that and put it in parentheses. This is sort of a little hack. So if I put that this could be you know GF um, CD, so that I mean gluten free contains dairy. So that's something you can do um, if you have options that don't um, match up with the main item itself. Let's talk about um, the cake itself and, and how to add the cake options, any menu item. You come in here and you can turn on what we call cake options, show the cake image, show cake message field. So you might have, you might make a small carrot cake that's round and you only have room for a, a short message and you might want that field on there. And um, you might have cakes that you upload images so you can do either and or both or none. So that's up to you. And then um, when you have something like message color or, or an option that you want to go below the cake options, when you edit that option, there is an option that shows under cake options and that allows that option called message color to go up uh, under that. So we've added a lot of cool things. We're, we're listening to you. Coming soon, we're going to be working with people who are doing bulk meals that they might, you know, rotate different menus and sell in bulk and maybe not deliver a particular time of day, but maybe a time frame or a day of the week or certain days of the week. So we're working feverishly to try to give you more tools to help you pivot and grow. If you've got any feedback, send me an email. We are definitely here um, with you trying um, um, to do everything we can to make you profitable and make you more money. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you need anything. Thanks.